Hey y'all, today we are gonna make a delicious shrimp and spinach stuffed salmon and we are serving it with some asparagus. This is the perfect date night meal, but you know what? <laughs> if you just wanna keep it for yourself, why not? Let's go ahead and get cooking. I have a one pound salmon filet. It's about an inch and a half thick. You want a thicker piece of salmon that's best for stuffing so it doesn't rip apart and it will hold together. And I'm just gonna cut that in half so I have two pieces. Then I'm gonna go in with my knife and I'm going to cut a pocket on the top of the salmon. I know some people really like to do theirs on the side, but I find that to be a lot more finicky than just cutting something on the top. I make sure not to pierce the skin and I also make a little notch on the sides of the salmon so that it has even more room to expand whenever I put the stuffing in. As you can see here, I now have tons of space for my filling and I made sure not to pierce the skin. I also am gonna use a half a pound of shrimp. These are Argentinian red shrimp. I'm using them because they have a sweet taste, almost like lobster, but y'all know lobster costs way too much, honey. So we are gonna use a little inexpensive version and I am gonna take about half of the shrimp and I'm gonna cut them into about three to four pieces. You could just use small shrimp, but I really like the taste of these Argentinian red shrimp. So that's what I'm gonna use today. You can really cut these into any size that you like. You just wanna make sure it's small enough for stuffing. Now to season my salmon, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of olive oil to help the seasoning stick and a generous amount of garlic powder. Y'all know garlic and seafood, mm -mm, that tastes so good and some Old Bay. Honey, you can't do seafood without no Old Bay now. I'm gonna put a little bit on there um, and then I'm gonna go in with some lemon pepper. Now this is a salt-free lemon pepper that has a really strong citrusy taste. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of onion powder. Of course, you can use salt and pepper to your taste, but you gotta make sure that you do rub them seasons down into that pocket now. You gotta get these seasons everywhere and press them down so that they stick well to the salmon. While that's marinating, we're gonna work on our shrimp. Now I have divided my shrimp in the bowl. Half of them I have put on the side, the little cut pieces, and I also put the whole pieces on the opposite side because I'm gonna cook those differently. I'm gonna go in with the same seasonings that I put on the salmon, the Old Bay, olive oil, garlic powder, onion powder, except I'm also gonna add a little bit of smoked paprika because I really want to enhance that red color and get a blackening effect just a little bit on my shrimp when I cook them. I also need to prep a few other things. I'm going to smash and peel four cloves of garlic and just give that a fine mince. I have a tiny piece of onion. This isn't even half an onion, just a small piece, maybe about a fourth. And I'm gonna cut that really small. And I'm gonna serve this with some asparagus. This half pound of asparagus. Now, typically you are supposed to hold each piece of asparagus and then just give it a snap and the woody part will come off. Now look, I ain't got all that time for that, okay? So I'm just gonna line mine up and I'm gonna whack off the bottom. Now I might be losing some of the good parts of the asparagus, but hey, I got my time. So to cook the asparagus, I'm gonna put it in a separate pan and I'm gonna toss it with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and about two cloves of that garlic toss it together really well, and this is going to end up baking in the oven at 425 degrees for about 10 minutes. While that is going, get your cast iron skillet heated, and we're gonna throw in that shrimp. This is a nice medium heat, okay? No need to turn it all the way up. And I'm putting my whole shrimp and my small shrimp on two different sides of the cast iron skillet. This is because the small shrimp is only gonna be cooked for about one minute. I'm only partially cooking it because we don't want no shrimp to turn into a band in this recipe. Y'all know shrimp go rubber real quick, okay? So that one, do not cook it all the way, honey. It will cook the rest of the way with the salmon. Now the whole shrimp, those you can cook all the way. Those are gonna cook for about two minutes and you will know when they're done, when they're nice and pink and you'll see the sides curled up and I toss a little bit of the garlic on it, and then I'm gonna set that aside. If you're enjoying this recipe so far, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and I hope you subscribe if you love easy and flavorful recipes. To finish the filling, I went ahead and put in some more butter 
and the rest of that onion and garlic. I tossed that together for about one minute and then threw in some spinach. Now, I just put in a whole lot of spinach. This is probably about four ounces of spinach because y'all know spinach cooked down to nothing. Okay, you start with a whole lot and in the end, amen. So, be generous with your spinach plus it's super healthy. And I'm going to cook this down and just add a pinch of salt to taste. And really, that's all you need on your spinach. You don't need a whole lot because remember, it is taking up all the seasonings from that pan. I'm going to set this aside to cool and I'm going to mix my stuffing. I know a lot of people like to use cream cheese, but I find that to be a little too heavy. I just like a tablespoon of mayo and about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And then I'm putting in my cool shrimp and my cool spinach. And I'm using just a little bit of Parmesan cheese. This is about a tablespoon. This is really even optional. Um, and I'm using a tablespoon of mozzarella as well. I don't like a super heavy stuffing. So this is actually quite light and super delicious. Now to stuff your salmon, look, be generous with this stuffing, honey. Okay, this is for you and the baby. Okay, you and your boot. All right. So don't go, don't go skimpy. Okay. So I like to pack mine down. I really push it in and even, I even go over the slit. Like I kind of just go onto the top of the salmon. That's one of the benefits of stuffing your salmon this way because really you can just let this, the stuffing just mound up and pull on over to the side, okay? And if you're doing this for yourself, treat yourself. So be generous with the stuffing. Now I had a little bit left over but that was fine. Now I'm gonna add some olive oil and a little bit of butter to the skillet. A viewer told me that the butter can actually help cut down on the smoke. I don't know, I did, I did get less smoke this time while cooking my salmon. So hey, thank you for that tip. If you guys have any more tips for me, feel free to share them in the comment section. I do read them. Now I cook this on a medium heat, skin side down, for about two minutes. Then I lowered the heat for about five minutes and allowed it to cook on low on the top of the stove. You can see that a little bit of pink and white is developing at the bottom of the salmon. That's how you know it's cooking. You want the skin to crisp, but you don't want to cook the salmon all the way. I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese and I'm actually going to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for five minutes. After it's been cooking for five minutes, I'm then going to broil it for about two to three minutes until you get this beautiful color. Look at this. This salmon is perfectly cooked, but it is super duper juicy. I have never had a juicier salmon. Guys, you plate this up with those shrimp and this asparagus, and this is a delicious meal. Thank you so much for joining me today in Kamir's Kitchen, and goodbye.